So I'm flexing my peak meme lord stats today for one simple reason only. That is, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can customize the Power On logo or animation that pops up on most popular resin press, including the Inicubic Photon, the Eligoo Mars, the Frozen Sonics, and a host of other boards that run Chidu boards. So let's get into the video. My name's Yasu. I started this channel to share with you all the things I've learned over the last few years about all things 3D printing, and for the moment, resin printing. So if you wanna become a better 3D printer or resin printer for your hobby or business activities, you should totally consider subscribing to this channel and hitting that notification bell. So first off, we need a software utility from the Chidu Systems website, which is the manufacturer of resin control boards pretty much used in all resin printers, including Inicubic, Eligoo, and most recently, Frozen. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this mod before we start is that it may, and probably in all likelihood, will void your printer's warranty. So this is another one of those mods that you really want to do at your own risk. I put a link to the website in the description below. In the support tab of the Chidu website, there are some options for downloading firmware for various boards that they make. But hidden amongst all those firmware options is a little known tool that I discovered recently that allows you to customize the UI and menus of all their Chidu enabled resin printers. I really have not touched the menu side of this tool, so the focus of this video will be the power up screen that flashes for a few seconds before showing the main menu on the printer. Usually this is showing, you know, typical uh, company branding, you know, the Eligoo logo or the Inicubic logo, whatever's. It's a pretty simple app, but there is a little readme that provides a little bit of extra context, which I recommend checking out before getting started. Before you can do anything on the tool, you will need your replacement logo or image to match the same resolution and image size as required by your printer's screen. The Photon, for instance, uses a 2.8 inch screen and will need images to be sized exactly 320 pixels by 240 pixels. And the Mars uses a 3.5 inch screen and needs images to be scaled exactly 480 pixels by 320 pixels. Failure to do this will result in your power up screen having a weird artifact or distortion, which that's no fun. You can resize and edit your image with virtually any photo editing app. I used Photoshop because it's the one that I have the most familiarity with. But even MS Paint will do the job just fine. Save the resized image as a JPEG or PNG and then go over to the Chidu UI app. Click on the logo tab, load your resized image and click generate logo. That will create a .logo file in the same file directory that you put your resized image. Copy that .logo file to a flash drive and insert it into your printer. From here, it's a simple matter of treating the .logo file as if it were a regular print file and quote unquote printing it as if it were an ordinary file that you're printing. It should quickly run and then make a series of long beeps to indicate that the file loaded correctly. And boom, you just changed the power on image of your printer, which will take effect the next time you power cycle the printer. Now, as you can see from the footage here, I did this on my newly disconnected old stock OG Photon board to prove that could be done on an A-Cubic Photon. I also tested the tool on the Eligoo Mars and the SaintSmart KL9, where you can do the exact same set of steps to make it work. As a final note, I'd really recommend avoiding messing with the UI menus until there's more official documentation for this app in place, as I can see it easy to mess up something up and delete access to a vile function and not be able to restore it. However, something as simple and mundane as the power-up screen, that's very reversible and changeable, that's not such a big deal. And that, my dear friends, is how you add custom branding or some sort of logo to your resin printer power on screen. I would really love to know what you would use for your power up screen. Feel free to comment your choice in the comment below. Otherwise, feel free to hit that like button for this video because it has helped me uh, rank higher in the YouTube algorithm, as well as if you wanna see more resin printing content, you should totally hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Anyways, that's it for today. See you in the next video.